Doctors are revealing new information about the baby just born in New Jersey with the Zika virus. We have team coverage beginning with CBS 2's Meg Baker. She's live outside Hackensack University Medical Center. Meg? Christine, a woman from Honduras infected with the Zika virus, gave birth here at Hackensack University Medical Center yesterday. Now, we did not hear from that mother as she has asked for her privacy during this very difficult time, but we did hear from her doctors and we also heard from some concerned patients. A team of specialists here at Hackensack University Medical Center say the 31 year old woman from Honduras is having a hard time coping after her baby was born with microcephaly, a condition in which the newborn's head is smaller than expected due to an infection caused by the Zika virus. We're evaluating the extent that her brain was involved. Remember that Zika preferentially attacks fetal neural tissue. The child was born premature and may have a variety of problems like developmental delay, seizures, and irritability. The mother, a citizen of Honduras, was initially evaluated there. After she broke out in a rash, Honduran specialists suspected she was infected with Zika. The patient opted to come to the United States for better care. For her and her unborn uh, fetus. Some other patients had no idea that a Zika patient was being treated at the same hospital. It would have been nice to know probably before I came here. Alex Bassino just visited the OBGYN. It's a little nerve wracking. It's pretty close to home. But doctors say. So emphasize that neither the mother nor the baby poses an infectious risk to others. Cindy was concerned and double checked that she would be safe before coming to the hospital. She said not to worry about it, um, that I should be fine since mm -hmm. I'm 40 weeks pregnant already. No word yet on how long the mother and child will be staying here in the U.S. We are told that they do have family close by. Now, according to the New Jersey Department of Health, there are 18 cases of Zika related to travel here in New Jersey. We're live in Hackensack. Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. All right, Meg, and scientists in Brazil say that they have developed a test that can detect Zika in 20 minutes. Until now, patients had to wait weeks to get lab results. The test just got approval from Brazil's health surveillance agency to be produced and sold in that country. And more information now, that Zika case in our area certainly has raised some concerns about the virus and whether it might pose a risk here in the tri-state area. So our medical expert, Dr. Max Gomez, joins us now to answer some key questions. Let's start with this, doctor. Does this baby in the hospital in New Jersey pose any risk to anybody else nearby or even far away? Well, that's what people are worried about, but no, not at all. The virus is spread primarily by being bitten by an infected mosquito, and there have been no reports of the virus being found in any mosquitoes in the continental U.S. Now, that may change as we move into the summer, but this baby poses no threat to anyone in the hospital or anywhere in the tri-state area. Can you just review how you contract Zika? It's being bitten by an infected mosquito. That's the primary way. And since those haven't been found in the U.S. yet, you'd have to have traveled and been bitten in areas where infected mosquitoes have been found, which include Central and South America and the Caribbean, including Puerto Rico. Now, there have also been a few cases of sexually transmitted Zika because the virus stays in semen for weeks after a man has been infected. So that's mm. a secondary way, much smaller, primary a mosquito, a mosquito bite. bite. So then who's at risk for getting it? Well, of course, it's people who've gotten bitten by mosquitoes. Anyone can get Zika, but the vast majority of people will only suffer a mild flu-like illness. The real risk is to women who get infected while they're pregnant. And because we don't know exactly how long the virus remains on the body for men or women, the CDC is recommending not having unprotected sex or becoming pregnant for anywhere from two to six months after visiting infected areas, depending on whether there were signs of mosquito bites or Zika illness. We have details on the recommendations on on CBSNewYork.com because it gets a little bit complicated. But for now, it looks like it's if you're not pregnant or getting pregnant, you're not really at much risk. But so you can get it and not have it be a big deal. Exactly. Most people, nine out of ten, will never even know they they got infected because it causes you know some aches and pains, a little flu-like illness, and it goes away. Oh. Okay, Dr. Max, thank you. you bet. Thank you.